Hey, you doing here? Okay, whoops. Okay, let's, um... Uh, why wow, things keep moving around? I do not know why those things have to change orders every time you... Just every... Kind of randomly, it seems like. See, now the desktop audio is at number three position when it usually stays at the top. And so, you know, I really depend... It Like, when I, you know, when you mix on a mixer, the, the sliders and the buttons and nothing, they don't move around, but they do in here, so... Which is crazy. So, uh, hang on, I need a drink now. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to um, try to set up my... Uh, I've been hearing some telltale noise, and I think I got to thinking it may be that the inputs have changed. They do change... They try to auto-set themselves. And some Usually they stay, but sometimes they do change. Uh, so this one looked... A I saw this the other day, and I thought it looked a little high. And that's uh, I brought down the sound on the on the last video. I brought down it on, brought it down on the mixer to where it seemed better. But I still got that little telltale noise here and there right at the beginning of me starting to speak, which I thought, well, you've got to balance the compressor settings and the gate uh, gate, the noise gate, the compressor. It's the noise gate that you know right when you right when you first start speaking. That's uh, well, it's cutting out any background noise until you speak, but. If it opens too early, then you'll hear that background noise. Uh, but if you have your gain too high, it'll make it open. Uh, or, you know, your input, well, there's a the gain, and then there's your... We just always just called it the slider level. The, I guess it's the volume level. I forget. It, it just says level on the board. But anyway, we don't. I don't have sliders on this board. I have... Uh, on this little mixer, I have little knobs. But So I backed off the level a little bit because I have the gain. I think I have... I know where I want the gain. And uh, <clears throat> I've checked and checked my cables. Well, I mean, I haven't replaced any or anything. I think they're all fine because it, if it was a bad cable, it should just make a noise always, no matter what, whether you're talking or not, you know. <clears throat> so anyway, well, of course, the noise gate could cut it off. But uh, once I start talking, it goes away. That's what's kind of odd. I don't know if it's happening now. So I need to do two things. I need to... Watch this signal. Uh, well, that's the other. That's a lapel mic. This is this is this in 58, <clears throat> and I need to open up the. Uh, doesn't really matter from where I open it up. The advanced properties. Yes, if I could get the right thing. Advanced audio properties. Oh, and I'll get back on the desktop. Advanced audio properties and. Uh, Tell us to stay on top, but I don't know that I want to do that. I'm trying to put them up over that so it doesn't get that video feedback. <coughs> Drive me crazy. Actually, let's see. Leave that over there. As soon as you click one, it goes away. Okay, so uh, I'm going to see how he's on top for now with that one. Then I can, maybe I can. That one can do it too, but well, let's do them both for right now. While I'm doing this, that's what I want. <clears throat> okay. It's because I want to, uh, you know, be able to see my levels and watch them as I do the settings. Now I'm going to set it to turn it on to where I can hear. I've got my headset on this time. So I want to turn on the, um, let's see, I'm going to turn on the Mic Ox 1 and Mic Ox 2 both. Let's see. Well, I'll, I'm not quite sure what that mute output would be for, except for maybe to. Well, it might stop that echo when I'm trying to do this, since I'm not. Uh, oh, it'll, it will go. Out, it won't be in the recording though. <clears throat> it might be useful for setting up when you're not recording. Well, let's go ahead and try to do it. Since I am recording, I know it'll turn it off, but it makes an echo from what I remember. I actually, don't hear it. Check one, two. Huh. I, I should be hearing the SM58 right now. Unless it's because I have the uh, desktop audio turned down. Let's see. Check one, two. No, that doesn't have anything to do with it. 
think I'll turn it back up for now. Uh, I only turned it down when I was doing a Skype call. And I just thought, well, I'll leave it there because it's part of it. Because I did notice where some desktop audio was quiet, some louder, you know. And uh, I kind of noticed that when I was playing, some stuff was too loud. But anyway, I've always kept it like this until recently. Um, when I just the other day, when I started doing Skype calls with somebody here in a video. Okay, now what's got me confused is why don't I hear it? The audio's not muted or anything. Get a signal if it's muted, I wouldn't hear anything. I see that there's a desktop audio signal there, though. Yeah, so that's what happens when you do that. Uh, let's try this. Check one, two. Doesn't change anything there. Okay, so yeah, I think I've experimented with that. And uh, it does stop it from being recorded. Well, I remember what I, did, what I did was mute the desktop audio, and then it doesn't echo like crazy. But what I'm not getting here is why doesn't, why don't I hear anything? Check one, two, check one, two. Check one, two, check one, two. Huh. This is how I've, I've done it before. And uh, I do have my headphones on. Maybe they're not plugged in good or something. No? <clears throat> Okay, so now I have the lapel on. Turn them both on, see how close the levels look. They look pretty close. I think I hear it just very slightly. Check one, two, check one. Oh, <laughs> dummy. The volume was just too low. Okay. Forgot to turn up the volume. So, yeah, it's kind of weird because even though, now it's quite echoey still, but even though I'm... Um, muted the desktop audio the volume knob you know still interacts with this so um anyway now i know what i've got going okay check one two check hello check 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 hey this is dawn check one two check one two i kind of think that this uh that, yeah, that uh, muting it doesn't kill my signal. It just makes it weird. Doesn't, I can't even talk with that in my ear. That, I remember now, is where I, I, I like it needs to be set. And I kind of think maybe it was on the other side. It had set itself up and then brought itself back down. It could be that Skype did that. Because Skype, you know, when you run that Skype sound check, it automatically adjusts your input volume. So it may have done that. Because it was during the time... That I was making those videos and do you know and setting up to do Skype calls and everything, that that started happening, and I didn't even think to look in here. So let me turn that back on. Check one. Hello. Now I hear it. Check one two. Check. Okay. Check. Check. Hello. Check one. Check one, two, check, 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 hello, check, check. It's, uh, let's see what it sounds like on here. Still quite an echo. <clears throat> now let's see. I'm going to try it.
Okay, to make sure that it's going to get on the recording, I'm going to turn it all on like that, even though it would probably be an echo. Okay, this is this in 58. This is, this is, this is. Oh, there we go. Hello, oh, check, check one, one two. two. Check, check one, one two. two, that's, that's both, both of them. them. Now this is the lapel mics. Check one, two, check one, two. This is the SM58, check one, two. Check, check one, one, two. two. Lapel mics, check one, two, check one. Check one, two. Okay, so turn, turn that off so it'll quit driving me crazy. And uh, get these headsets off too. Just wear them, especially after listening like that, just for a couple of minutes there. Just wearing them. Actually, it's 14 minutes already, almost 15 minutes. Just wearing them even after I've quit. I can. It still makes my voice louder in my head, but it hurts my ears. Okay, um, yeah, I guess I'll listen to it on the uh, speakers for a second, too. Sometimes I can tell better that way, but it's not easy either way. Um, okay, let's try before, before I do, I do that, that. Check, check one, two. Oh, check, check, check. Check, check one, two. two. The, the levels, levels look really, really close. close. I mean, I'm not going to ever be exact, exact because they're not, not the same, same kind of mics. mics. They don't respond the same. They're, they're not going, going you know, through, through the same systems. systems. The, the SM58 is going, going through the Behringer mixer and the Behringer uh, effects unit, and the lapel mics are going through a little USB sound card straight into the computer, and then I've got a compressor and noise gate from OBS Studio working on them. But that's why I can't get them to not. Uh, it helps a whole lot. They're pretty good. They really are pretty good. Um, a matter of fact, that lapel mic wouldn't be usable without that noise gate because there is noise in that. Uh, Going through, through that, that uh, um, USB sound card. card. Uh, I have another one, but I plugged it in the other day and it didn't even see it. And I don't know, it might have, but I kept filling with it. But I figured I'd, I was in a hurry. I was trying to get going. <coughs> but uh, there's, I think they're the same brand and everything. They look identical. I know. There's like this thing that, you know, how things are all made identical or even made in the same factory with cylinder brand names. I think that's the case with these. And they were, I got them for two dollars each. I think you can still get them, but I don't think you can get them that cheap anymore, like five or eight dollars or something. <coughs> anyway, they work fine. Um, without that compressor, though, I guess that wouldn't be much good for recording. Um, I bought them to use for output, you know, sound output actually, but. Uh, okay, okay, off on the story. Okay, so, uh, dad, come here. And also, I was playing both mics. Okay, so. Um, where's my... Okay, here we go. Advanced audio properties. Now, let's... You have to always do that so you can see it. Turn them both. Whoops, they've moved. They moved in there, too. Okay. All right, check one, two. Oh, I've got to unplug that. Got to unplug the headset. Can't barely hear it. Check one, two. Hello, check. Check. Hey, this is Don. Check. Check one, two. Check one, two. Check one, two. Hello, check. Check one, two. Hey, this is Don. Check one, two. Check one, two. Hey, this is Don. Check one, two. Kind of sounds quieter. To check, check. I'm check, check. No, it doesn't. Check one, two. Check, check, check. Check one, two. Check one. Am I clicking that window? I have to click back down in this window. Okay, hey, hello, check, check, check. Check one, two, check. I don't know. I think it's just the different, different sound of the mics. I... 
Hmm. Well, let me listen back and see what it sounds like. Get these off before I forget. That would mess up my recording. Okay. Yeah, and it doesn't stay. Once you close it, see, I had it on always on top, but it doesn't stay that way. Once you close it and open it back up. Okay, now. Um, let me listen back. Let me stop and listen back to this one and see <coughs> if it. Uh, so I can test my music out too, and see if it if they sound close enough to the same when I listen to the recording. <laughs> 